Hey there, night owls. Today we're diving into the creepy world of sleep disturbances. Do you know the difference between night terrors and nightmares? Let's unravel the mystery together. Night terrors and nightmares are often confused, but they are actually quite different. Night terrors usually occur in children, not adults. Night terrors are intense episodes of fear during sleep. During sleep, Terror, a person may start screaming, shouting, or crying, sit up in bed and look scared, stare wide-eyed, sweat, breathe heavy, have racing pulse, flushed face, enlarged pupils, kick and thrash, be hard to wake up, and be confused if awakened. They may be, uh, it may be difficult to comfort them or soothe them. They have no or little memory of the event the next morning. Possibly get out of bed and run around the house and have aggressive behavior blocked or held back. Occasional sleep terrors aren't usually a cause for concern. If your child has sleep terrors, you can simply mention them on a routine well child exam. But if you have concerns or if, uh, for your child, Talk to your doctor or other healthcare professional sooner, especially if sleep terrors happen more often, regularly disrupt, disrupt the sleep of the person or uh, with sleep patterns of other family members, lead to safety concerns or injury, result in daytime symptoms of extreme sleepiness or problems with daily activities, continue beyond the teen years or start as an adult. While nightmares are frightening dreams that occur during the REM stage of sleep, that usually occurs in adults more often than children. The distinction between the two is crucial, so let's shed some light on this. The impact of night terrors and nightmares on people's lives can be profound, from disrupting sleep patterns to causing anxiety and fear. These disturbances can affect the daily activities, the overall well-being of a person. It's essential to understand the gravity of these experiences. Now let's delve into the unique characteristics of night terrors and nightmares. <clears throat> nightmares typically involve sudden screaming, thrashing, and a sense of intense fear. On the other hand, nightmares are vivid and uh, distressing can cause lingering unease and understanding these symptoms, causes, and prevalence of these phenomena is key to addressing them effectively. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, paralyzed by fear from a night terror or haunted by a terrifying nightmare. These chilling real life experiences highlight the sheer terror that individuals face when dealing with these sleep disturbances. The fear they evoke is palpable and unsettling. In summary, night terrors and nightmares may both be unsettling, but they are distinct in nature. Seeking help and support is crucial to managing these conditions effectively. Remember, you are not alone in facing these challenges, and there are resources available to help you navigate through them. As we wrap up, it's important to emphasize the importance of uh, seeking professional help if you are experiencing severe symptoms of night terrors or nightmares. Your mental health is paramount, so don't hesitate to reach out for assistance. We want to hear from you and share your own experiences with night terrors and nightmares in the comments below. Remember, a good night's sleep is essential for your overall well-being. Thanks for watching. Sweet dreams. If you like our video, please uh, subscribe. Thank you.